Travelers I spoke to here today at XNA say some of them had to cancel their plans last year, so this year they're ready to get back to those holiday traditions, but they're being a little more careful and they're adding a few more precautions in place before they fly. I have gotten both of my COVID shots as, long, as well as my booster shot. I also got my high dose flu shot, and so I wear a mask everywhere, so I feel, you know, fairly protected. Millions of Americans will take to the skies and roads this week. If you plan on traveling, Fayetteville's health officer says for peace of mind, you should get tested for COVID-19. The at-home kits are, are antigen tests. Um, they take about 15 minutes to run. They are a fairly reliable screening tool just as reassurance if you're a fully vaccinated person that is not having any symptoms and you went to go see your grandmother, it's a good way to test one more time just to make sure that you don't have an asymptomatic infection. Some other top tips from Dr. Sharkey, wear a mask indoors when you're out in public, wash your hands and keep your distance. And above all, get vaccinated or get your COVID-19 booster if you're eligible. If you're getting ready to travel, you just need to know that more than likely you are going to encounter somebody that has COVID. So you need to act like everybody that you are interacting with is potentially that person. For travelers who may not have been able to celebrate with loved ones last year. Last year we did not travel, uh, so I just basically saw them over FaceTime. So I am so excited. I'm beyond excited to get to see them this year in person. And They're ready to be together again. Just to be with family again and to be able to hug and kiss and spend time with them and cook and just be together. Dr. Sharkey says even if you are fully vaccinated, that does not fully protect you from the Omicron variant. She says the best way to protect yourself is to get your booster shot if you're eligible. Reporting live at XNA, Emma Claybrook, 4029 News.